in this video we take a look at how to create a christmas party flyer like this in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we do photoshop tutorials and tech videos if that is something that you are interested in kindly consider subscribing inside the link in the description of this video will contain all the resource files that i'll be using and i must say that this video was inspired by so many flyers that i saw on pinterest and on free pick if you want to find the resources that i used in this video plus a couple of others that i added personally a link will be in the description to download now let's get into photoshop and let's get started the first thing we need to do is we're going to create a new document and we hit on control and and i'm using photoshop 2021 but this should work with any version of photoshop so you select the a4 size if you don't have it over here in your recent items you go to print and then you're going to see a4 over here now once you have everything is set you just head over to click on create now i'm going to make this tutorial very simple for you but first of all what you can actually do is you can create the whole background that i'm going to use yourself and i've provided all the resource to do that in the description but then we have a fully created background that we can use so i will first of all go to file and then we're going to place embedded now we locate our resource file or where we have the resource folder and then we are going to bring in the black gold christmas background that i got from pinterest and then you are going to place it over here you realize that this background is already set out every part is already filled out for us so we don't actually need to make a lot of changes over here now we don't want a couple of parts from this area so what we can do is we can right click on the layer and we rasterize on this one i don't want this particular one over here so i'm going to select my spot healing brush tool and i'm going to make sure that i use the patch tool so i'm going to make a selection over here and then i can drag it to this very side and voila it is going to fill that part that we don't really want and once we have this we can then go ahead and add a couple of things to it so we go to the place embedded and we are going to bring in first of all our flowers over here so the flowers is actually going to be on top here press ctrl t and you're going to transform it to be very bigger like this one you press ctrl a and then you can center it horizontally like that and then you can press ctrl d to deselect that so we are going to select our black background over here and we are going to darken it a little more so using the levels we are going to darken it a little more so that we can get the gold out of this one throughout the video the test that we are going to use we are going to use only one gradient on all the test and the shapes that we are going to use and it is going to take the gradient the gold gradient so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to add our test and we are going to use about three fonts in this video so we are going to add our test right away so we go for the test tool and the first font that we are going to use is called montserrat and we are going to type in the date so 25th december something like that and then we can go ahead and place it somewhere over here press ctrl t to make sure that it is quite bigger like that so you press ctrl t and you make sure that it is centered and you right click on that test and you go to your blending options like i said we are going to add gradients throughout the video so you choose your gradient overlay and this is the gradient that we are going to use so this is the first color over here and this is going to be the second color right over there so once you have it you click ok and then for the style we're going to use linear and the angle is going to be zero and you're going to leave the rest of the things as it is and you can go ahead and click on ok now we are going to make a duplicate of this same test so ctrl j then we drag it to the very bottom over here we're going to select all of that test and we have another test over here so it is going to be the name of the institution that is organizing this program and it must be noted that this is just a virtual program that i just created off my head it is not an actual program that is coming on so any institution name any artist name that is used in this program is not a reality it is just for the tutorial sake 
so the name of the company is going to be right over here we are going to select all of that and make sure that the same Montserrat but this time we are using the semi bold over here you go to your toggle character and then you are going to make sure that you close it to the size that you want something like that and then you can click on ok so the date is going to be 25th December or your date your preferred date and then the name of the institution the pub or the restaurant is going to be right over here now right underneath of this one we want to add something that is very nice something that I got from free pick so this golden ribbon and we are going to select that and we make sure that we place it right in the middle over here so control a and make sure that it is centered if it is too big for you you can try to resize it a little bit to make sure that it, it looks nice or it looks nicer for you next off you are going to add the main title and that is going to be the christmas party so we can make another duplicate of this test drag it on top this flyer is mostly of test of course so we're going to select a test over here so the first one is going to be christmas over here and we are going to copy that select our test right over here and we paste it now we're going to select all the tests again and we are going to change this to a font called magnolia sky regular all the fonts that i'm using in this videos will be linked down in the description also so you can check them out now after you've gotten this what you need to do next is you press ctrl t and then you can transform it to make it a little bit bigger like that press ctrl a and then you can center it like that so this one looks way bigger so let's try and transform it to be something like that so that at christmas the main test can have a little bit of space to breathe so something like this and then we make another duplicate right over here we're going to select all the test and we are going to type in here party so for the party we're going to select all the test and we are going to change the font to a font called nexa bold so we are going to use the bold one we can press ctrl t and then we transform this also to be way bigger or way smaller and then we can press ctrl a to center it something like that now it's time to add the performing artist and then the location of this program so like i said every artist that i'm going to use in this video is just something that i created it is not really happening so the first thing we need to do is we are going to select our rounded rectangle and we are going to create a very nice rounded rectangle over here so something like that and then we can make sure that it is centered so press ctrl a and then we center that right over there now we are going to hold alt and then drag the effect over here onto the rounded rectangle so that it is going to pick the same golden format that we are using you can position it a little bit down over here and then we are going to pick our rectangle tool as well so the rectangle tool here and we are going to create a rectangle like that so something like this make sure that that also is centered so press ctrl a and then make sure that it is centered and then it is underneath of the rounded rectangle so you are going to drag it from this side onto the very bottom like that and then you hold alt and you drag the same effect onto the rectangle as well so you see exactly what we have over here and then you can take your time to position the rectangle that you just created on top of this rounded rectangle we are going to add a test so we are going to select the test and we are going back to montserrat so we are going to change our font type to montserrat and this time we are going to use the semi bold now let's go and copy the test that we have over here so the test is performing and then we are going to select that go into photoshop and then we are going to paste it right over here but since this is already gold theme colored we are going to select all the tests and make sure that we use the background we have over here click ok and then we can click ok from here press ctrl t and then you can resize it press ctrl a and then you can make sure that it is in the middle now we make a duplicate of this test drag it to the very bottom over here and then we go into our test that we've already created we are going to select the performing artist again this program is not really happening so we are going to select all the tests paste it right over here and we click ok 
now we go on to our rounded rectangle hold alt and then we can drag the effect onto this test so you see how simple that can be and then we can press ctrl t transform it a little bit like that and press ctrl a and make sure that this is centered something like that now we can zoom in over here go back to this rectangle that we created and then we can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and drag it hold shift and drag it to the very bottom over here so that we have another space right there and then we go back to the performing artist press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we can drag it to the very bottom over here go into our resource or our test that we created and then we can select the location so it is we assume that it is going to happen at the same bar that is presenting this particular program so we copy that and then we are going to paste it right over here now you realize from here that this particular golden ellipse that we have is conflicting with the location so what we can do is we can select the black gold background go and select the lasso tool and then we can make a rough selection over here like that make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we can drag it to this very side now once we have that made we can go back to the black gold christmas background and then we go and pick our patch tool and then we can make another selection again like that and then we can drag it to the very bottom over here so that that place is going to be free of so now we have a different layer over here that we can actually position make one more duplicate and then we can drag it over here press ctrl t and then we can increase it out like that and then we can position it over here at the very bottom you can make a duplicate and you drag it over here if you have any further information you can add something like your website or your number and then for that particular one we're going to right click on it and we go to clear layer style select the entire test and then we are going to give it a different color white that is going to stand out like that and then we can decrease it like this so if you have if you want to put your number or your website or anything like that you can probably go ahead and put that over here and just like that you've created a very simple flyer for your christmas parties i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel would be so very intriguing thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye